Hello, I'm Danny from PC Paramedics and today I'll be showing you how to configure email in Outlook 2003 and 2007. Now Outlook 2003 and 2007 are exactly the same to set up an email account. So today I'm going to open up Outlook 2007 and set up my email account. I've now opened up Outlook 2007. It's come up with a start, startup wizard to set up your email account. I'm going to proceed and click start next to that. It says you can confirm your Outlook to connect to internet email, which is what I want to do. So yes, and next to that one as well. Okay, your name will obviously be your, your name yourself. So today, I'm going to use my test account. So for all intents and purposes, my name is Test. My email address. My email address will have been provided to myself by my internet service provider. My email account today is test at web-hq.com. Okay, my password um, is provided by my internet service provider um, along, alongside my email account. So I'm going to put, proceed and put my password in. which will ask for it twice. Okay, I'm going to manually configure server settings for additional server types. Now to get your server settings, you'll need to contact your internet service provider. Now if your internet service provider is BT, uh, you'll need to call BT, but if you have your broadband with AOL or anybody else other than BT, you'll need to contact both parties in order to get all of these right details. OK, I want to do internet email today, so I'm going to proceed and click next to this one. OK, once again, my name is already filled in, email address is what we filled in earlier. The account type, unless otherwise stated by your ISP, will always be POP3. Your incoming and outgoing mail servers will be given to you by your ISP again. So today, my incoming mail server is mail.web-hq.com and my outgoing mail server has been provided by my broadband ISP which is smtp.eclipse.co.uk Okay, now the username and password again has been provided by my ISP which is test at web-hq.com and password alike. Okay. Today I'm going to show you more settings to do with email. Now certain email accounts provided by certain broadband companies will ask you to fill in different uh, options for your, for your email settings. They may ask you to fill in the outgoing server in case it uh, requires authentication. Mine doesn't need to do that today. They might also, go, might also ask you to fill in different server port numbers. Again, they will be given to you uh, separately. Um, today, mine are standard, so I'm not going to change the normal settings. The server timeouts. Now, the server timeout will be set between short and long. Default, it will be set to one minute. That means it will give one minute's time for each message to come in. If you know you get a lot of large emails, such as attachments or photographs, you may wish to increase this um, to three, four, or anything up to ten within Outlook. Okay. Also, delivery. If you're going to use your email on Outlook on your computer and a Blackberry, Blackberry, iPhone or any other computer, you may wish to leave a copy of the messages on the server so that you can get these delivered to each individual device. Okay, so today I'm going to leave mine on the server and select remove from server after 30 days. The reason I'm asking them to remove after 30 days is because I don't want the server to get too full up that people can't send me any more messages. Once that's done, proceed to click OK. OK, we're nearly set up. All we have to do now is click Next and then Finish. This will then create an Outlook data file for you. It should only take a very short amount of time to run. OK, once all that is in, we are now ready to use our email.